Okay, so we're now going to create the features section, which is housed just under the main section at the top. So we're going to be creating the markup and looking at cutting out the images and uh, styling it up. So it basically looks like this. So um, probably the first step would be to go ahead and underneath the feature section, uh, go ahead and start to build this. Now it might well, you may think that, but let's take a look at what happens if we type something in here. Now before, remember, we have this orange border, uh, orange background around the top and this features section. However, down here, we don't want this uh, container now. We, we don't want this orange container because uh, in the design, we're breaking out of this orange container and just, you know, keeping things white. So what we need to do is, in fact, come under here, let's just type here and then refresh, and we need to go ahead and create a row here so everything continues to line up. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's div class, and we'll call this, or give this a class of row. So now, in here we can go ahead and create our columns. So in this case, it's going to be large four. So we're going to have three four columns. So I'm just going to type one in here. I'll go ahead and create another one down here. And that can be number two. Uh, oh, sorry, column. And then under here, we can have a third. So div class equals large four column and that's three so now it looks like this so we've got one two and three now we're going to center everything here it looks a little bit off to the left at the moment we'll go ahead and fix this up when we actually go ahead and style this features section so now what we need to do is think about um the you know sort of um spacing on this if you like or the you know how this um spaces out. So we've got this div class of row. However, what we want is we want to go ahead and target this with some kind of features class. But I don't want to apply it on there because I want to go ahead and wrap this in a container. So I'm going to create a div opening and closing. I'm going to indent this and I'm going to give this a container class and I'm going to call this features. So now when we refresh, we get the same thing. It just means it's spaced out a little bit more. Now remember, cast your mind back earlier, so when we created the container spacey class, that gave us a lot more space. And that's exactly what we need here. So we're going to have a lot more space, a lot more padding at the top and the bottom, and we're going to introduce these images and then these headers and uh, everything like that. So let's take a look at how we might cut up these images because we need to go ahead and cut these images up to be able to actually use them. So again, we have a section in here um, called, let's just find out what it is, uh, it'll be services. So if we just open this up, you can see that down here, we've got this background which we can get rid of. So we can do exactly the same thing as we did with the laptop at the top, and we can go ahead and just highlight these. These are a lot easier to handle though. Go ahead and tr crop them. And then we can go ahead and trim it. And that gives us the image. So we would do that for the paper aeroplane. We can then go ahead and do the same thing for the heart. So we highlight or select. We crop it. We trim it and then we get the heart. So I'm not saving these because I've already got them saved in a folder. I'm just going to drag them across in a moment. But when you're cutting things up, if you are cutting up uh, part of your design, you would go ahead and do it like this. So you highlight, image, crop. Once that's cropped, you go ahead and trim it by the transparent pixels. And there we go. So once you've got these um, cut up and saved. Uh, I already have them saved in another folder. All I'm going to do is drag them along. Let's just actually go ahead and re-enable that background. 
Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and just take a look at uh, copying these over. So, let's just copy over, um, so we've got the paper airplane, the heart and the cog. So we need the plane, the heart, and the cog. Okay, so let's just uh, clean these up. Oh, sorry, not clean them up. Arrange them. Okay, so we've got these now, so we can go ahead and actually introduce these into here. Let's do the first one and style the first one. Then what we'll do is duplicate this across uh, to actually, you know, give this... Um, you know the effect for all, th all three of these columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to create an image source with a blank attribute, uh, blank alt attribute. We don't want this read out. So the source of this is image forward slash plane dot png. So at the moment that looks like this. So it's not centered. Um, we've got the right amount of spacing. That's all fine, but the, the, you know it's not centered at the moment. That's fine. We'll go ahead and deal with that in just a moment. So I'm then going to go ahead and create some H5 tags and we'll go ahead and just fill this in. I'm going to write flat design as per, uh, or not flat design, flat design as per the um, PST that we've got. And we need a paragraph of text as well. Now this can be anything. You can go ahead and generate some lorem ipsum. I'm going to do so now. So I'm just going to paste that in there like that. So what we'll do then is we'll focus on just this section and then we'll go ahead and duplicate each of these. You can already see that it's starting to look quite nice already. There's no real problem with the way this looks at the moment. We've got a bit of margin to add um, and obviously text aligning this central um, so it's in the center. But apart from that, we've not got that much to do. So there's not too much that we need to do here. So inside of our text editor, um, let's go down and create a features section. this and we'll go ahead and first of all target the features class so remember we added the features class to the container that has the container spacey class that gives us our spacious container so for the entire features section we just want everything to be text aligned in the center because if you if you see everything is basically central aligned there's nothing in this section that isn't so we can go ahead and apply that to the entire container. So let's take a look at what that's done. And there we go. We've actually centered the images as well. So Text Align Center will work on these images, um, just how it works. And you know everything is central now in terms of that first column. So what we need to do now is go ahead and change things like the header. So we can go ahead and say Features H5. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the font weight here to 400. I oh know, maybe a little bit. Uh, let's actually have a look. Yeah. To 600. And we want to go ahead and make this slightly bigger as well. So we'll just create a value like 2Ms and then we'll just go ahead and change this in in the uh, browser so if we go ahead and just say 1.4 maybe 1.2 1.3 1.4 1 1.4 looks fine here so let's go ahead and change this to 1.4 M's okay so that's it for that we need to go ahead and change the paragraph now we need to give this a um, sort of reduced font size because this is a little bit too big uh, compared to the design here so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to say features P so I'm going to target the P element within the features section I'm going to reduce the font size I'm going to say I want it to be 80% of the uh, inherited uh, size and I'm going to go ahead and set the margin bottom to 40 pixels and they might be wondering why we're setting the margin bottom to 40 well, this is the same problem that we had earlier. Remember when we set a margin on the bottom of this text here, so that when we reduce the size of this, we had this spacing here. Well, this works in exactly the same way. You can see now that I've set a margin bottom on this paragraph, which has left me with quite a bit of space here. 
and there's not enough space between two and three because we don't have any of this markup in there. So that's why we're setting the margin bottom on the paragraph. So what we now want to do is just go ahead and target the image because we've still got a spacing issue between uh, the image and the header. You can see here that the flat design text is a little bit too close to that image. So we can go ahead and say margin bottom 20 pixels and refresh and there we go. So that's the first column of our design and this looks absolutely fine. We don't need to change any more here. What we do need to do though is go ahead and apply this to each of the elements here or each of these columns. So let's go ahead and create a new image with another source and a blank alt again. And this is going to be image and we are adding in the heart. So this is just heart.png. So it's heart.png. We go ahead and add the H5. So remember the H5 is, what does this one say? Uh, quality code. So quality code. And we go ahead and we create a paragraph again, which is going to contain exactly the same text that's in this one. Okay, so one more to go. So we'll just go ahead and say image source. Again, this is going to change. We need the blank alt. This time it's the cog, so it's image forward slash cog.png. And we have a header here. And the header says, great support. And last but not least, we have the final paragraph with this text in. There we go. So we've got the three columns here with identical markup. And there we go. Everything looks nice. So we've got um, the three items here that we you know, set out to build from this. Um, we could go ahead and reduce the size of the, uh, if we look, reduce the size of the paragraph here um, and, and change things around. But it really depends on how you, know, you think it looks good. You could go in and look at the actual font size here. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll leave things as they are like this. So that's how we create the features section here. In the next part, we're going to move on to the um, the our work section or the section. If you look just down here, this recent work section, uh, which is slightly more complicated because we've got a few elements to look at. We've got these headers and stuff, which shouldn't be too difficult. We've got this unordered list here and then we've got these blocks here that have images within them and then colors around the outside as well. So in the next part we'll be looking at this recent works bit.